Hey you guys, it's monthly favorites time and I'm just going to hop right into it. So on my Instagram and YouTube videos, I have been getting comments asking what gel nail color are your nails? And honestly, I haven't had time to go get my nails done. Um, I've just been changing polishes, but I think the secret to it looking gel-like has been the Essie Gel Setter. Um, it's a top coat and it goes on really thick. It's kind of gooey, um, but I think that's why my nails look very gel-like but I don't think it's just this I think it's this and a combination of this drip dry because with the drip dry it just makes it dry a lot quicker so I'm able to do it at night maybe hang out for maybe 10 minutes and then go back go go to sleep with the baby but I think it's because it dries real quick with a very thick top coat without any like um, lines or smudges or anything like that so it just makes it look really thick and crisp, I guess. Um, I really think this is the dream combo. I've been using this and every time I get comments, what gel nail polish is it? And it's not, it's just been regular nail polish. So I've been trying to change at least once a week or once every other week, just so that I kind of feel like I'm put together even though I don't have time to go get my nails done. Um, yeah, dream combo right here. Still going on with my nail polish favorite is actually a nail polish remover. Now I've had this for quite some time, a few months now. Um, it was gifted to me and for some reason I didn't want to use it because it says to just dip and twist. So you dip your nails in and you twist it and the polish comes off. And for me, I always thought it'll probably won't come off and it'll leave my nail all or my fingertip all dry and smell like acetone or something and I was just like ah I'm just gonna keep it all the way in the back so I did and a week ago I ran out of cotton balls and I needed to change my nail color because it was just all chipped and I thought I'd give this a go what an amazing product this is it was so easy my nails didn't feel all dry, my fingertips didn't smell, it was actually like really soft and easy to take off. Literally, you, you stick your finger in, you twist it a few times, and the color comes off. It's amazing, and it doesn't stink as much. Like, when you open and you smell right here, it does, but I feel like it smells more when you take the nail polish remover onto a cotton pad and, and do it that way, and it kind of drips down your hand and stuff. This has been really, really great. I mean, usually my husband complains when I'm taking off my nail polish in front of the TV while we're watching together, but the other day I did it with this and he didn't say a thing. So either he's just really used to it <laughs> or he didn't smell it, which I think he didn't smell it. This has been awesome. I, I haven't tried any other products where you um, put your finger in and twist, but this, I don't know. I'm so happy with this. Thank you, Madam Glam. My next favorite product is something that you probably wouldn't know unless you've had a baby, and that is the Lansino Lanolin Cream. It's supposed to be a nipple cream, and it helps soothes and protects your nipples while you're breastfeeding. Now, I am still currently breastfeeding, and this has come in handy so much, at least uh, for the first and second month. It has, I mean, I used it like almost every couple hours because my nipples were just hurting. Now um, it's not as bad. I use it uh, after I get out of the shower. So there's still a lot in here. Um, it's been what, three months? Almost four months now. And what the reason why I love this is not only because it takes care of my nipples, <laughs> but also because it takes care of my chapped lips. Now I didn't know about this and I think I read a, a magazine article or something how someone said they used it on their lips and it's great. So I've been using it at night and wow. I mean, if this is good enough for my baby to be putting in his mouth, then it's good enough for me to have on my lips. And so this has been in my skincare routine. Um, the very last thing, I just apply it on my lips and I go to sleep and in the morning I have like nice unchapped lips. I don't know. It's really, really great. It really does work. And they're only like nine bucks at uh, Target. So, I mean, if you run out of lip cream, you've got this um, lanolin cream. My next favorite is something that I have not used, but I love it so much that I know it's my favorite because I haven't used it. 
Does that make sense? The Onu nail sticker that they collaborated with Esther Kim, which is my friend. She's an illustrator and she's awesome. Um, they made these amazing nail stickers that I love so much and I've actually seen it on her nails. You can also see it on her Instagram account, on their Instagram account. It's the cutest thing. They sell this in Korea, but she has a few that she's able to sell on her um, website. So I'm going to link everything down below if you want to check it out too because there's only a few that you can get here. If you're in Korea, then lucky you because you can get this right away. I don't know. Her illustrations are the cutest and to have these little guys on your nails, it's going to be the cutest thing. But they're so precious that I'm afraid to use it and then know that they're going to be gone when I take it off. I think I'm just going to have to get a few more of these so I can just keep using them every day. Thinking of doing a tutorial, if you want to see it, let me know. The next item is also something that they sell in Korea and unfortunately they do not sell in the United States but you can get it off of Amazon and that is the LG Portable Mobile Pocket Photo Printer 3 and this is the PD251. I guess it's the next up from the 241. They have really cute pastel colors but for some reason I went for the white. I don't know, I'm just really simple like that. And what it does is it prints out little 2x4s um, of your photo. So it's connected to your iPhone or smartphone with an application and then you can print out photos from that. Um, you can edit them, you can add stickers, filters, whatever, and then once you sync it, a little card will come out and that's your photo. I got the ones with the sticker back and that way I can use it for scrapbooking and I've been using it to... basically the main thing I've been using it for is just for my little baby and I have a little album for him and so every month I take a photo and I put it in the album. I have a few photos that I just take, cut out, and I've been putting them around <laughs> in the photo book or um, I'm actually thinking of printing and putting them into my planner as well. It's come in handy. I love how small it is. It's very portable. You charge it with your computer which is pretty easy and yeah your your little photo comes out within 30 seconds which is really really awesome. The print quality is like okay. It's not the greatest. If you're comparing it with a real photo it's not like perfect but I mean, if it's for scrapbooking purposes or, you know, just something that you want to add to something, then it really is great. And if you're with family, it's another great thing because you can take a family photo, print it out, and give it to that person to take home with you, to take home with, or you can put it in a card or something. Just really easy. So, yeah, there's a company on Amazon that sells these, so they get them from Korea and they're able to ship out. But other than that, I haven't found anywhere else where they sell it. The only thing is all the instructions are in Korean, but you can find the instructions in English on uh, a website. They add a little um, paper with everything written on it for this device. So it's really easy to set up and yeah, I like it a lot. My last favorite is from Japan and it's a Japanese sunglass brand and they are called ADSR and I've been using them in my Instagram a lot so I've been getting a lot of comments but they're these awesome reflective br uh, blue brown blue sunglasses and they just look so cool. My friend started to rep them and um, I just had to get them. I love how one, how the color is, and also if you look from the side, it's like just perfectly straight. There's no curve or anything, so it's very modern, minimal. Another cool thing is at the ends, usually when you look at your sunglasses, there's like a little dent. When, when it bends, there's a little dent in there, right? But they have made it so the sunglass, the front of the sunglasses and the with the, this part right here, that they fit perfectly right on the edge so there's no, there's no opening and it's just like this perfect square, really edgy and it's so cool. I get so many um, questions for this too on where I got them. Unfortunately, they are not in the United States yet but she just started repping them so I'm sure you'll see them around. Um, I ordered another pair which should be here at the end of May and I'm so excited. I love my sunglasses.
There's so many colors and styles. They're really edgy and minimal and just easy. They're unisex, so they kind of go with everyone and everything. And yeah, I know I'm like totally hyping it up, but once I saw these and I saw the whole collection, I was just like blown away. I was like, this is so good. And it's not too pricey. I mean, it's like a good high-end sunglass Brand, but it's nothing like those Dior $500 sunglasses that everyone wants but can't afford. So <laughs> yeah, these are really, really cool. I also love the little metal um, pieces on the sunglasses. See, I can keep going on and on. Anyways, I will leave their website and Instagram down below. So give them a check out because they have some really cool stuff. So those are my favorites for this month. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Let me know if you use any of them because I would love to know. Oh, let me know if you have any products like these that you recommend because I really want to try other ones. So far, Madame Glam has been awesome and I love their polishes and I'm really happy with the little polish remover. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Cannot wait to hear your comments. Um, share if possible and I will see you very, very soon. All right, bye. I wanted to do a monthly favorites video and hopefully I will be able to keep it up every month. So let's get started. My first thing is the It Cosmetics CC Cream and if you watch